Please stand. Please stand. What was that? I think he hogged. <laughs> Will, man. <laughs> Thank you. I love you, Barbara Reynolds. Don't worry. You want to step and join hands with him? That's. Welcome and be seated, please. Didn't Tyler make a great flower girl? Thank you all for making this commitment to be here today as Carly and Jeff pledge their love for one another and make a truly wonderful commitment of their own. Let's say a short prayer. Heavenly Father, we just ask that you watch over this wonderful wedding today. We ask that you bless each of us today with your love and kindness. Please guide us each and every day to show others that love and kindness. We ask this in your name, amen. In our world today, it is rare for other than family to meet a young lady days after her birth and be able to attend her wedding. I am one of those lucky people today. Carly, I have witnessed you grow up. When you were a toddler, I thought I was being responsible and gave you and Lauren some healthy power bars instead of candy, candy and you came back and said, Daddy, I can't like this. Then. On to a young lady playing soccer and running track, always while maintaining a great sense of humor and a huge heart. 
Jeff, I have not had the pleasure of getting to know you very well. That being said, being a great fisherman, your passion for photography, and the fact that Carly chose you makes you a winner in my book. I look forward to knowing you better in the future. Life is made up of a series of commitments, work, friends, family, community, and even to ourselves. But making this marriage commitment to the one you love can be the most fulfilling of one's entire life. Yes, it is a commitment of time, resources, and emotions to another, but marriage is a commitment you also make to yourself. In this commitment today, you are also committing to be the best parents you can be to Forrest. You commit to bettering yourself each and every day, working to be the best possible partner you can be for your beloved. Yes, marriage is a partnership. For your partnership to grow and flourish, both partners must make every effort to do more than half. And it's not just a commitment to give love, but also to allow yourself to be open enough to receive it back. Your whole body, your mind, your heart is filled with content and joy when you give. A healthy, happy marriage consists of two partners who are wholeheartedly ready and willing to give and receive like Carly and Jeff are today. Matthew 19 verse 6 says, So they are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let man not separate. This message in Matthew is that the bond of marriage brings two hearts together in ways unseen. Even when we are at our weakest, we can find strength in each other. In 1 John 4, verse 12, no one has ever seen God. But if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. What's being said here is if God loves us like this, we certainly ought to love each other. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God dwells deeply within us and his love becomes complete in us. That's perfect love. In Philippians 1 verse 7, it says, I hold you in my heart, for we have shared together God's blessings. It's basically saying those who enter into the sacrament of marriage do not just create a bond with each other, but also with God. We need only look around to see the everyday miracles he has brought our way. And so now is the time for Carly and Jeff to officially make this marriage commitment if this, these words have not scared you off. Do you, Jeff, take Carly to be your wife, to not only give love, support, and understanding, but also to fully accept these things as well? I, I do. And do you, Carly, take Jeff to be your husband, to not only give love, support, and understanding, but also to fully accept these things as well? I do. Wedding rings are our emotions brought into the physical world. They are a symbol of everlasting love, as well as a symbol to show the world that you have been fortunate enough to enter into this marriage commitment. Each time you slip your ring on or off, remember this day and how you feel now, and let each and every day of your marriage be full of the same love and adoration for each other you experience now. And now the future couple will present each other with their rings as they repeat after me. Let me get there. Carly. Carly. Please accept this ring. Please accept this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. For you above all others. For you above all others. It's my promise. It's my promise. That wherever our journey takes us. That wherever our journey takes us. I will be there for you wholeheartedly. I will be there for you wholeheartedly. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Place it on her finger. And then the next ring. Okay. And that to her. Carly, repeat after me. Jeff. 
Jeff. Please accept this ring. Please accept this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of this ring. Of, wait. Of my love. Of my love. For you. For you. Above all others. Above all others. It's my promise. It's my promise. That wherever our journey. For wherever our journey. Takes us. Takes us. I will be there. I will be there. For you. For you. Wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. Marriage is that wonderful commitment that allows you to give of yourself fully and freely each and every day. For each new day is a new opportunity to make your partner feel loved and appreciated. When both partners commit to each other fully, marriage becomes a never-ending circle of love and support. Do you want to say something to Forrest? Yes. So I, okay. so I don't know if everyone knows, Forrest has been in my life since he was six months old. And a little bit before then, I chose because I'm diabetic and epileptic to not have a child. And it's broken my heart, but just then I met Jeff and Forrest came into my life. And I felt like it was a blessing that in disguise that I would not have ever unless you know, adoption, which obviously, you know, is another idea, but I love him and I cherish him and we only get him two days, but I cherish him every day and I will forever and I love you for so much. And you are just the best boy in the world. I love you very much. Very good, very nice. And so marriage is one of the most selfless and at the same time, wonderfully selfish commitments you can make. I am overjoyed to now officially introduce Mr. and Mrs. Jeff Hobson and Forrest. You may now enjoy your first kiss as a husband and wife. Preacher man to you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. The family of the bride and groom would like to invite all of you to the reception immediately following, which is right behind you. And also, they would also like to thank Kim and Joe for opening up your wonderful place for this wedding. And everybody needs to know, it's also Joe's 59th birthday today. Oh. So, <laughs> it was 57 actually. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to because there's no chairs over here, right? That's down there. Yeah. 
I think you're going to probably do pictures. I need to get this mic back to him. Well done. I got to get this mic. Well Microphone. Oh, thank you thank very you. much. You did awesome. Hello. I've got a new career. Yeah, it's going to last about so eight more minutes. Yeah. More pictures. You did great. You did really good. I should just ask if, uh, yes. what's his name, Patrick? Patrick. Yeah, yeah this Patrick, would you like to just go ahead and borrow these? Crazy. Oh, 